Hey guys, welcome back to another video where we will be looking at Agile Point Connector for AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda is a serverless computing platform that allows you to run code without provisioning or managing servers. Lambda functions are triggered by events such as HTTP requests, database changes or file uploads. They can be used for processing data, generating content, for creating backend services, machine learning, etc. Let's look at this in action. Now, before we get started, the first step is to create the Lambda function itself, which you can do in any of your preferred code editors. In my case, I'm in Visual Studio right now, and I've created a very simple Lambda function, which will predict a credit risk uh, based on the provided inputs. So I have a class over here called predict score input which will be used as an input parameter and finally it returns back the result. So in the predict score input class, I have few parameters which will be passed from agile point side and this lambda function will send me back the risk level. Now once this project has been created, you can compile it and go back to AWS developer console, search for lambda. You can click on create function, give it a nice looking name, select the runtime. There are various runtimes available in this case, your platform architecture, and then you can upload the package. In my case, I've already uploaded the package. So I'm going to go back. My function name is called predict score. And as you can see over here, this is built on top of .NET 6 as uh, the runtime and the platform architecture is specified over here as well. Now, once this is done, we'll go back to our portal and go ahead and create an access token to connect to AWS Lambda. Now, an access token, as you know, can be created at a global level and shared across applications, or we can create it at an app level and restrict it to be used within the application itself. In my case, I'm going to create a global level access token. So I'm going to go to Manage Center, App Builder, global access token. Now, I already have a couple of access tokens for AWS, but I'm going to show you from scratch how this can be created. I'm going to click on add token, select AWS, click next, give it a name. Now I can either provide a long term access key or a temporary credential. You can refer to AWS documentation on how to get the values for these two. I'm going to select long term access key. Now the way this works is I can go back to AWS, search for users, drill down. I select the user which should be used as a service account, go to security credentials, scroll down, you'll find a section called access key, you can create an access key which will give you a client ID and the corresponding access key. I'm going to copy the client ID, go back to my manage center over here, paste it, and the access key would be generated one time. I've already copied it over, so I'm going to come to my notepad, paste it, and specify the region where my AWS services are hosted. So I'm going to say US East Coast, click test connection, the connection is tested successfully and I can go ahead and click save. In my case, I've already created it. So I'm going to close this dialog. Next, we are going to go to app builder. My recent apps. I've already created an application for this. So I'm going to drill down, open that in edit mode. Now what you will see is there is a dedicated activity group for AWS Lambda. There's one activity in there called invoke function. I'll show you the configuration of this. You can give it a nice looking name. From the drop down, select the access token which you had created previously. It will show you the list of functions which are available. In my case, it is telling me the function name is called predict score as we saw in the, in the AWS console. I can provide a input mapping so I have provided a sample payload over here first to get started and then say map request. And over here, I can map the agile point schema to the Lambda function schema. So 
on the left hand side what you are seeing is the agile point schema on the right hand side what you are seeing is the aws lambda function schema so i have provided a mapping similarly i go to response provide a sample payload and then click on map response and then map it to one of the variables on my agile point schema now in my case i have a sample form which will be used to capture some data it will invoke the aws lambda function and show the risk level on the next form over here i have already published this application out so i'm going to go to work center i'm going to go to my apps next i'm going to open the aws lambda demo form going to enter some information select a credit card type and click submit this would kick off a process i'm going to go to inbox tasks i can see there is a process which is already running I'm going to pop it out in a bigger window and you can see the aws function has been executed i'm going to open this task and it is showing me the retrieved risk level from the aws lambda function so using this connector you can now invoke any kind of aws lambda function as part of the bigger business process thanks a lot for your time